So I want to learn how to code because when when I talk about the upcoming generation, it becomes all about technology, right? All the all the functions can now be devoted to technology. And during this lockdown, when I speak to you on a digital platform, it can easily prove to us that technology can handle the world. And like I communicate with you in English, I have to learn certain words to have that level of communication. And I think same is with technology. If I know technology of what it actually is, of what the language is, and I understand the language, I feel I'll be able to use the technology in a better form, and not just focusing it on Zoom or television, but also taking it to different heights. The best thing I like about this course is a what I've experienced is that when you talk about a class, if it's from six to seven. Be it if my topic is just started or it's halfway done, seven o'clock is end. But being in classes with Anand sir, it's like when my topic is ended and when my entire doubt of the session is ended, that is when the session ends. And the devotion the teacher has towards the student, I think I can feel that now of how much attention I've been getting. And um, how silly questions I ask, how and how effectively Anand sir answers my questions, and plus this animated way of learning is actually getting me quite into this uh, coding world. While well, recently I've been learning the tough part about coding, I've just been starting that, and it took me a bit off road of um, shall I be doing this? I mean, will I be able to handle it? But sir explained it to me that as it's my beginning, it's going to get easier and easier. The more I practice and taking that thought, I'm not going to stop now. Oh, uh, answering that from my heart, I'm telling you, I've taken many, many, many uh, extra classes. I mean, as in uh, not extra classes, but trial classes, and um, I've not been fond of them. A, as I told you, is six to seven, seven o'clock, khatam. And that's something I don't find in techy. Well, when I learned in sites like, um, I'm sorry to name, but You know, I learned app building, but that was like I I I was clueless of how I made an app in one session. But then I got to know from my experience that all I've been doing over there, that teacher is telling me, put this variable there. You know, just do one to four, and then you're done. As in, I didn't apply any of my senses. I mean, whatever she's saying, I'm just following her commands like a robot. And after doing that process three times in the entire class, it just you know, I just memorized it. But uh, I think when I learn techie here, I get to know of that if I learn how to build one program, which is the principle of that program, I can build many other programs, which is something not there in other courses. And in techie, I can actually understand coding and not memorize coding. Oh, all right. Oh my God. The funniest thing about my mentor. Don't mind, Anand sir. Whenever, wherever I take this on the road. But I think the funniest thing about my mentor is that he is. It's not funny, but it's actually very good that he is always there. I mean, sometimes what happens is that if I ask him for an explanation, it's like he explains me. If I want an explanation of the cat is on the roof, you know, all people are going to say that the cat is sitting on the roof. But then Anand sir, and then I explain me what is the meaning of earth and the cat and the earth and the roof. So that's like, oh my god, I didn't ask for that. I just asked for the first word. But then there's something else that I know is that's generous of him, that's caring for me. Again, please don't mind. All right, I still like you.